Hello everyone, and welcome to Linktober 2022 prompt number three, which is miniature. Um, at first I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do for this, and then I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do for this. So what I am doing for this is Garyhim holding up a unfinished carving, which is meant to vaguely resemble him. Uh, but this Garham is the one from my Skyward Sword story, which takes place five years after the end of the game. Link found Garham sort of stuck in the middle of the woods, and they agreed to work together, Garham becoming Link's sword and changing from a demon blade to a shadow blade. And this scene takes place the first time Garham enters Link's house. So I thought to explain what exactly is going on, I will read a little bit of the story. Um, so like I said, this is the first time he was going to his house. Where am I? Okay, there I am. He was surprised to see how out of the way Link's home was. It was closest to the temple, and there was a fair amount of space between it and the nearest house. It sat right against the tree line, with some debris from the wilting temple nearby. More surprising to the white-haired man was how modest it looked both outside and in. The entrance opened right into a small living space, with a hearth, two chairs, and a small couch, as well as a small as well as small bookshelves on the right wall and a table and chair in the corner to the left of the door. Link went into a door to the left where the table was. Glancing in, Garham saw a bed, figuring it must be the bedroom. He moved about more, seeing a bathroom, a small eating area, but he wouldn't really call it a dining room, and a small kitchen that completely looked unused. Moving back to the living space, the table caught his attention again. On it was scattered papers and small figures, wood shavings, and paint. He picked up a paper, seeing a painting of the great tree in Faron Woods. Did you make these? The papers and carvings showed things and places Link would have come across in his adventure. Elden, the Mogmas, the Kikwis, even the mining facility was painted out on several papers. As he looked through, he saw the progression of skills, some of them having been redone at some point, to improve what was there. Garham actually found that he was rather impressed, never having expected Link to have such an ability. Hmm? He poked his, Link poked his head out at the question. Oh yeah, it's one of the only things that's been keeping me from running off. He went back into his room to start sorting his things. Or finish, sorry. I also use them to tell the kids about everything that happened. It seems no matter how many times I tell it, they still want to hear it again. He chuckled as Garahim continued to look at everything in turn. He picked up two figures that were unfinished, seeing about four more that seemed to have all been failed attempts at the same thing, or person, perhaps, from the shape. You are an absolute pain to carve, I'll have you know. Link smirked, leaning on the door frame, watching Garahim look over everything. Garahim blinked in surprise, repeating that it was meant to be him in confusion. Yeah, but for some reason I could never get the shape to work right. I was able to draw and paint you, but I could never make a carving. He picked up one of the pictures to show the other man. Garahim took it, annoyingly impressed by how the boy had captured him. He was sitting on top of the sleeping Kalatos. Kalakotos. He remembered this moment and the boy depicted it vividly as if it had only happened yesterday. I like having the figures for telling the stories because then the kids can handle them and get a better idea for what I was against. He picked up one of the bokoblin he had made. Anyway, I've gathered what I need together, but I think it might be better to finish up shopping and then leave in the morning rather than today. It will be nearly night by the time I'm done for sure. You can either make yourself comfortable here, or come with while I run around. It's up to you, really. Garham was once more surprised he had been given a choice. He thought about just looking through the small selection of books before Link's last comment. Of course, Groose's face when he sees you would be fantastic. 
He smirked a bit, showing he had a bit of mischief in him. Now, that was a good reason to come along, indeed. So that was the end, last few paragraphs of, I guess, the third chapter. It goes along with the third picture in the story. I draw the picture and then I write the story. I still have to write the story for the seventh picture that I drew. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy writing just as much as arting. I just don't do it as much as I would like, which is on me, but you know. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I like how his hand came out, and I like how the figurine came out. I mean, I guess I probably could have made it a little more wood-ish, but it wasn't true. Uh, and yeah, I'm really happy with this one. I've been enjoying going a little bit more simple and easy with these. And I do hope you like the final result. <laughs>